New tonight, it's been 10 years since Mexico declared its war on drugs. And while some areas are more peaceful, places like Tamaulipas continue to suffer from brutal drug gang violence. Channel 5's Ruben Juarez is here to break it down for us. Ruben. That's right, Steve. There's been little progress in the number of murders. They've risen again to rival the levels of 2011. Some say the war versus the cartels has been crucial, but a flawed effort. Critics say the offensive began December 11, 2006. More than 100,000 people have died. About 30,000 others remain missing. A law enforcement official in Tamaulipas says he routinely encounters young cartel gunmen with few regrets. They see killing as the best way to afford lavish things. He says violence is the only reality this generation knows. Cartel members are as young as 14 and consider crimes normal. Tamaulipas also has a new problem. Many of the older cartel members already jailed were convicted of lesser weapons charges. Serious charges like organized crime or money laundering did not stick. Because of that, some are being released and returning to the cartels. Tamaulipas is still calmer than it was in 2010 to 2012. The bodies of 72 migrants killed by the Setas drug gang were found in San Fernando in Tamaulipas back in 2010. But shootouts and mass graves still exist, just not as frequently. Arrests and deaths fracture the Gulf Cartel in Tamaulipas. Now smaller factions fight for territory. Mexico's armed forces are now battling with them because some police forces are often corrupt or unreliable. These troops are often ambushed or accused of illegally executing cartel suspects. Reporting in the studio, Ruben Juarez, Channel 5 News.